Hello, tonight's meal is simply nachos and salsa uh, with my own special hamburger in the oven dip. One pound of frozen hamburger meat here. I'm going to defrost and uh, put it in the frying pan and brown it and drain all the grease off it. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to take this beautiful green pepper and chop it up in uh, nice fine quarter inch pieces. And voila, there's what's left of the beautiful green pepper. It's chopped up into fine pieces and that'll be going into the mixture in the frying pan in a few minutes. And it looks like that meat is pretty well thawed out. So take it out of the microwave and pop it right into the frying pan. And I'll crush that up with my uh, spatula and um, brown it. And I'll be right back. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and this um, brown chuck or hamburger meat is browning just fine. And the secret to any good um, meat-based dip is the spices. And this is going to have in it some um, red hot chili peppers, some chili powder, some garlic powder, basil, oregano, and some onion powder. And you can decide how much you want to put in yourself. I only put in a dry lake, which is a little bit of each. And some salt and pepper, of course. And I also have a, a plate of nachos here that are going in the oven with this mixture when it's all ready. This is just, I find the uh, nachos taste a lot better when they're baked a few minutes. And it gives them a bit different flavor than they do when they're just out of the bag. Okay, I'll come back in a few minutes with all the spices in this. But first, I have to add the green pepper. Right into that, and we stir that up and get them all nice and tender. Okay, now here it is all spiced up. I got everything out of that I listed earlier. In case you missed it, it was onion powder, oregano, basil, garlic powder, and chili powder, and red hot chili peppers on top of all that. And of course, some salt and pepper. What I also like to do now is um, take my salsa and throw a couple of large tablespoons on top of all that mixture. All well, three, I guess. Give it a whole bunch of extra sauce flavor. And that should be it now. I'll stir that up and let it simmer for a few more minutes. And here's about how it looks before it goes into the uh, pan. We're putting it in the oven for 30 minutes with the cheese on it. So just give me a minute and I'll put this in the pan and I'll show you how it looks before and after the cheese. And I have a really nice pan. It's about an 8 by 12 pan. It just fits in perfectly. Now I'm going to cover it with the cheese. It's, I use um, both cheeses, mozzarella and cheddar. Okay, there it is with the cheese on it. And now I'm going to drop that in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. I have the timer set for 15 minutes so I can throw in the uh, nachos to get them uh, just a little bit crispy in 15 minutes and then will be time to eat. Okay, the oven just beeped. Uh, it's 15 minutes. Now I'm going to throw these nachos in. Just give them a bit of crispness. Okay, looking good so far, and this will be ready in 15 minutes. Okay, and here's the finished nachos come to the oven with a slight browning, and of course, the dip is very well done, as you can tell. Okay, voila, there's the final product. The beauty of this way is each of your nachos stays nice and crisp and not dull, soggy, with everything else in it. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy.